Hey, I saw this effect created with Photoshop and I want to show you how to do the same effect using Canva. Let's get started. We're in our Canva artboard here and the document size I'm using is the phone wallpaper and we are going to be working on something similar to this. I'm just going to show you a couple of steps how you can do that. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this like this, but I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to look for something around this human hand gesture by expressive hands. And I'm going to use this right here. You can see that we've got that. And what I'm going to do next, I will go ahead and click on this image. Then I'll go to edit image I'll go over to adjust and then I would say increase the brightness a little bit for brightness I'll say 5 for contrast I would say 10 for highlights I would say 5 and shadows I'm say 5 as well and then I'll go over to saturation I just want it to be to just remain black it doesn't have so much changes in that but for sharpness i'm going to increase the sharpness of this i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the sharpness here you can see that looking so smooth but here uh increasing the sharpness makes it uh look quite interesting and also just the clarity a little bit and that will be all for that so we've got that yeah and what I'm going to do next is I will just cut this around here. Cut it around here. And I'm going to duplicate this. And then I will just drag this here. And reduce this this way. Okay. Now oh, this is great. The other thing we have to do is make it look more like this. And how you do that in Canva is quite simple. You can use a shape like this and you would have to reduce this shape. So I'm just trying to work on this shape a little bit to make sure that it's it's okay. And I change the color to say white. No, that's that's not good. Um Maybe change the background color to something else like this. But I want it a little bit dark. So let's say this will be fine. And this will just increase it a little bit. I'm looking at the edges around here. And also considering that's around here as well. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is just drag it down a little. And you just have to keep looking at it to see if it's giving you what you actually want. Okay, so just drag it just to make sure it's okay. Here I think we are almost there. But maybe just increase it to the top a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine like this. We're good. Just a little bit again. Okay, now this is good. This looks really cool. Maybe we can reduce it and push it up again. But if we look at it this way, we can see what we're having. It's a very nice thing there. So if we decide to change that color, you can see we have something similar to this. And that's how you do it using Canva. But then we need to style this a little bit to make it even more interesting. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it a... I'm going to go over to... Maybe just choose any color. And I'm going to choose a, this circular gradient. So I've created this gradient already. And I'll show you how I did that. When you tap on this, this is the color that I'm using for my gradient here. 
and also this one for the darker part of it and i'm using a gradient style that is radial so here is our these are like different directions it's these are linear directions actually um linear gradients and this is a circular gradient this is linear gradient here 135 degrees this is uh, 180 degrees and this is 90 degrees and you also have this uh, one here is also a circular radius you can see it's just around that but it's it's around it's just it's just quite circular just more like this as well but this is a 50 percent of um the white and the black okay so and this is just in the middle and this is what we are going to be using and we have this you can see that it's taking shape and we're having more depth into our our design i'm going to duplicate this like this and then i'll go over to here and i would add a border say four that's too much so let's do two let's do two or yeah let's start with two and then i'm going to go for the color inside it and i'm going to say i don't want it to have any colors but if i go back to the line again and i click on this i can go to gradient and here you can see that we can play with the gradient here we can add a red we can add another one to be a different shade we can actually do that right now using canva but what we want to do is we want to have at least three colors here so we have that for the lines and i'm going to show you how you can do that i could go ahead and select what i've created already as uh, part of my styles which is this and just apply it but i want to show you how you can do that and what i'm going to do is start from a blank page and say i go here and choose gradient we already have two and this is just what I want. I don't want to use the radio. I think this is going to give me what I want. And then for the darker part, I wanted to have something like this. And then for the lighter part, I want it to be a little bit white like this. You can see that. Now, I want to have more of them, of the colors. So I just select this one and click on the add new gradient color. Now we've got double of that. And I can select this one again and go a little bit darker of uh, this place here. And you can see that we have that shade around that area. And I can swap these colors and put this right here. And then I can just even go further to make the bottom of it a little bit lighter. And just maybe make this one even lighter okay so that is how you can actually um, create that so let's go in here and give it this radio okay yeah that is interesting awesome okay so we can do that we can also decide to do something more like this and choose this color as well just to have that light shade around it it depends on what you want to do actually okay so but we can do it this way or we can do it this way so this is actually how you create your gradient if i select this and decide to move this back here you can see that it's just moving towards that opposite direction then we can just make these even wider for one. but it's all in your choice to decide what you want to do i already created mine and here is how it is here for what i'm using it for okay so here is it and you can see that it's what we have there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid color again. And then just select this one for that. Now that we have that, I will select it and bring it just here. Okay. So I'm just going to bring it right there. And what I'm going to do is make it this, make it look like this. Because this one here, I've got a 
transparency 84% and also in the white shade 39% and that's what I'm going to be using for this now if we reduce this you can see that we're having this fill on this particular work you can see that now that is awesome I can select this as well and just drag this down a little bit and maybe increase this image to say this level and I can just move this here and maybe just pass it this way yeah so I can do that definitely okay so you can see that's what we have in right there so just adjust it a little bit again okay so there and then right here so we can do the same thing here we can check this out up to this level here and we can put this no let's fix that properly so we drag it here and we can do the same thing for this now you can see that we have this that part is done already now let's go for the bottom part i'm going to reduce this because we don't want so much of that and all i'm going to do is copy this and duplicate it then just make sure you fill it up here and you're done that's how you do that part so here you can see we've got two different you can see it this is amazing now i can just go ahead and maybe decide to group them for now this is what we want i can go ahead and then make the bottom part of this and select this this is for the bottom part in this case we're not going to be using the round edges so we delete that one just put it here drag it make sure you are repeating the same thing you did before and then just raise it up a little bit okay just make sure you take your time to do this I want to show you exactly how this is done so that's why I didn't chop this video in different parts okay now we've got that and I might just change the color of that particular stuff and just make it just dark a bit and uh, let's just lift it up a little yeah this is fine and that's the bottom part of it at some point you might decide to not use it but that's still fine I'll go back to my elements and I'm going to search for chain and I'm going to use this particular chain here and I will rotate it like so and I can put it here okay so in my case I'm going to just drag this down a little just around right about here and I'm gonna put these like this okay so put that there and also select this and just move it a little bit like so okay now this is good just a little bit of settings uh, yeah this is fine move it here and then I just want to add a little bit of depth around here just to look as though there's a shadow casting from the top and we can hop here and say shadow and there are just so many examples we can choose from here like drop shadows and all that we can use this one if we want and reduce it we can place it somewhere around here somewhere here this part but just send it to back and you can increase that like this so we've got it set like so and the next thing I want to do is I can go to edit image 
and using the camera magic here uh, okay using the effect here I can go to blur and the whole image I can decide to just blow it like this so this is okay this is fine we can use that and if you want to just duplicate that again you can do the same thing and this time around go to transparency and I'll just reduce the transparency a little bit I've got two of it I'm going to duplicate those and bring them also to the bottom as well and here is what I'm going to have okay and what I'll do is to move them forward this way and move this this way okay so here we go now that's it you can go ahead and choose another choose a blow again and choose another one this one and this is going to work as well so we'll just bring it here this time around, we want to reduce the transparency a lot. Send it to back, go to transparency, and reduce that. Okay? And that's okay. Okay, so that's fine. It looks as though there's a shadow around there, and that's very interesting. Interesting feel, and it's looking really cool. And I like how it's looking and this is very okay. Now that we have this, what we want to do next is we want to change our background color to something we want to use. And in this case, we can actually go for, we can go say yellow and we can just choose this yellow right here. You can see the feel that this is giving to us already. A little bit of something I want to do here will be to go to edit this image and go back to adjust. And I think for the contrast, I want to increase the contrast a little bit and reduce the brightness a little bit. Nine is too much. I would going to say negative five. Then I'll copy that style and paste it on this one. That's okay. Now, I like what is here. This looks really cool. It's interesting. I'm just going to add this here as well. Okay, now that is good. I've got that. Um, stay right there. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our text. And I'm going to just add a text here. I'm going to just go here and I type in human. Okay, I type in human. I'll choose a typeface and I'm going to choose tan and here I'm going to increase this to so something like this we just reduce it a little around right about here and for the color I'm going to give it something quite lighter and here I change the effect to a hollow effect Make it hollow and reduce the thickness to say 15. Great, 15 is good. I move it forward a little bit. I want it around here. Great. So that's it. And then I'm going to just make a little bit of change here. So watch closely. Now I want this to be intertwined. I want the text to go into the fingers and just create like a mask or something. So I'm going to take this and duplicate it like so. And then I'm going to bring it to the front. And while it's there, I am going to just remove this like this. By simply cropping. That's all I'm doing here. Just simply cropping. Now that I've done that, that's quite interesting. 
I'm going to do the other parts, which is going to be for the thumb. And I would increase this and increase this as well. I'm also just going to bring this right here. And have something like this. Something like this. Okay. I guess this is fine. Something like this. Just bring it to the front a little bit. Yeah, so this is okay. Now this is great the way it is. It's it's looking cool. We can just move this text somehow, and we can still enjoy the feel that it gives us. Okay, now this is great. We have done that. It just moves in between the text and looks really awesome. Next thing I'm going to do is I will get a circle. Not necessarily a circle, but something like this. And I want to put that around here. Just around here. And I'll send that to back completely. I'm going to change the color of that to something around here. Maybe. Or something around here. I'm not sure exactly. But it's just going to be around there. Let's say which is the transparency of that as well. Yeah, so let's just give it here. I want to try a different color and see if that's going to work for me. So I want something around something around this area, quite dark. Take the transparency back to normal, back to full. Okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, I'm going to use this. Now for this one, I will duplicate it again. Let's give it a lighter shade of yellow. So this, and I'm going to say 50%. Gonna send it to back completely and play around with this. So here I've got this and I'm just gonna add it up a little bit like this. Let's reduce that here. Okay, I think we're just good and borderline I'm gonna just make it two change the color of that line to something around white or the darker part of yellow not sure but let's say white maybe this or this something around that will be cool okay so something like this then we also need to remove the fill color because we don't want it to have that fill color that top of it so it has to go right behind and no fill color around there yeah so I think that's pretty interesting next we need to add another text we need to add another text but before we do that I'm gonna just create this and I'm gonna call this media I'm gonna go to the text here and I'll choose this Mr. Delphi and that's what I'm going to use. I'll bring it just below here, increase it. I go to this effect here, reduce the thickness a little bit. And then reduce this as well. Use transparency. Next is I want to send this to back completely. And then I would go over to my text again and then add more text. I'm going to say human. That's what I'm going to put here. I'm going to say human. Duplicate that. Duplicate it again. So I'm going to say human. Strong. Together. And then select the three texts. 
go over to arrange under position and a link to the left. That's great. I think the spacing is okay. Select three again, go back here and choose our text, our font. I'm going to choose screen five extra. And what I'm going to do is select this and give it this color. And I'm going to say 89%. Transparency should be 69%. Or well, let's say 79. 79%. Next is going to be 59%. Fifty-nine percent of this, and the other one I'm going to do will be thirty-nine percent of this. Okay, now just take it up a little bit, and this to a little bit. There you have it. Let's increase the text. Increase it. And we can just have this around here, this way, and we increase this. Great. So here you can see that we have created something similar to what we have here. And that's how you go about creating this type of design. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. To support this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.